Welcome back everyone, uh, back in the armour as usual. Uh, today we have a double Eagle M906B uh, that I'm doing a little upgrade on. Uh, so just a few performance upgrades. We're changing the original piston out so that we've got something with uh, an all metal rack. So something like that is as solid as you like. Obviously new piston head. We're gonna upgrade the hobart rubber, Omega nub as well. Um, so maple leaf, uh, Macron with Omega nub is going in. Um, just finished doing all the shimming, so that's absolutely perfect now. To be fair to it though, um, I know most of the time, especially if someone said to me, oh, Double Eagle, what's it like as a brand? To me, in my head, that would always um, kind of stick in my head as being a kind of a budget brand, uh, which it is. Uh, but I'm actually really pleasantly surprised as to how well all of this has turned out, actually, with its standard build. So everything was all real, really well shimmed uh, initially, so I didn't really make any changes there, which was a, a bit of a first, really, because uh, most things uh, need a bit of tweaking. But So that was good. Um, so, yeah, no complaints. It was pretty sturdy build quality. That's the upper receiver there. It's all solid, it's all metal. So, yeah, quite impressed, really. Never really taken one of these apart myself until today. Um, but, yeah, we're liking what we see. Um, original power on this when it arrived with me was about kind of about 0.9 joules. Uh, the intention is to run this on uh, 0.25 rounds. So we're just going to give a bit more durability with that in there. Slightly stronger spring um, to up the power, better hop up rubber. Um, and yeah, it should be greatly improved from that point forward. So what we'll do is we'll get all this back together. Uh, we'll get all the upgrades in. Uh, and then this time we're actually going to go and test it. Okay, so all is back together now. Uh, so we now have the gearbox fully built. We put a couple of upgrade parts in. Uh, piston, piston head, and a bigger spring, because there's the old one. Um, so we've got much more durability, so we should be able to achieve the power that we desire from this build. Um, so that should all be good. Horrible little hop up now. One of those stupid little bubble nub things, I suppose, if you can call it that. With one of the little cuts in it. I don't know if that was a good idea. We are going to put a maple leaf in it and we're going to replace that for an Omega nub. How much better is that going to be? Right, maple leaf rubber is there. That's all installed on. I'm gonna pop that in, back inside the hop chamber. Um, I've given the hop chamber a clean through as well because it is most important. Doesn't matter how good your gun is, if you haven't got this bit clean, your barrel clean, your hop up clean, uh, it doesn't matter how good the rest of it is, your BBs aren't gonna go where you want them. So, there we are. Uh, right, it's all back together now, all working, new piston, piston head, spring, and hot rubber. Um, so this is quite nifty, this has got one of the uh, fire control units in it, so one of the little uh, inbuilt MOSFETs, so semi-shot, nice and responsive. But the full auto is like a three round burst with just one little tap. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, don't take my word for it, let's go and try it on the range and see how it performs out there. Go straight off the workbench, straight down to the range, so we can give us a bit of a test after the upgrades have been put in. This is Worthing Airsoft shooting range that they kindly let me uh, come down and be able to test some of the guns we're upgrading for people. Um, so we're going to do a few shots down range, see where we're hitting, make sure it's performing as we like uh, before it goes home to its owner. So yeah, let's give it a test. So yeah, looks like it's going well.
Okay, so that was a test at 50 meters, uh, so we could see some of the shots were hitting there. Um, I always prefer to use slightly heavier rounds. Uh, that was a uh, 0.25 in that. Normally, uh, if you want sort of better consistency at that range, uh, I'd probably recommend going slightly higher on the rounds you're using. Um, but uh, yeah, what we'll do now, we're gonna put it on the uh, 60 yard range and see if we can get the uh, two fives to come and land and hit this one. So let's see what happens. Right, so that's that gun. Uh, we've just upgraded, hitting 60 meters. Uh, now that was with 0.25 rounds. Now it, we are at its absolute limit. Um, so its consistency at 60 meters uh, is not as great as probably what could be. Um, if you check out some of my other videos, a lot of my own guns, I run 0.32 ammo in it. Um, that'll give you an idea um, of perhaps uh, how much more consistent uh, the slightly heavier rounds is. You know, excuse me, I'm out of breath. It's a long old run down there to regain the camera. I'm not fit at all. Um, so yeah, do check out the videos, um, obviously throughout the channel. Give them a like, give us a subscribe. Um, and if you like, maybe possibly future video could be a direct comparison uh, in one video of the different weight rounds, maybe if I can uh, motivate myself to do so. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Thanks again to Werven Airsoft and I'll see you all soon.